we're closing in on 5.30. A three-hour stretch last night left three people dead in four separate shootings in Baltimore. Police don't believe any of them are connected. They don't have any suspects in custody. ABC 2 News' Dakari Turner at police headquarters with more tonight. Well, Jamie, as it gets warmer, the concern is that the violence may actually end up getting worse, and police are working to get ahead of that. But as they do, last night the city unfortunately reached 103 homicides for the year. At this shopping plaza near where a 17-year-old boy was shot in the back and legs comes surprise. It's a sad sight to see because, I mean, think about it, he's still young, he's still got a life to grow, uh, to live. Xavier Taylor says he would see the boy often on the other side of the counter from where he works as a cook here on the 600 block of Cherry Hill Road. He was shot just before 9 last night in an area where Taylor says kids also fall victim to lack of opportunity. They see the things, the vision, but they don't have the mindset to actually go out there and go out there and get it. Last night was definitely a very challenging night in the city. The 17-year-old was one of four people shot amid a three-hour stretch yesterday evening that left three dead. A man was killed inside a home in Sandtown just before 6 p.m. At 8 p.m., a 24-year-old man died at the hospital after being shot near the Old Town Mall. A little more than an hour later, a 29-year-old man sitting on a stoop was killed when a black vehicle pulled up in a drive-by in the 2400 block of Frederick Avenue. This is definitely an all-hands-on-deck situation. Our commanders are actually on the ground leading the troops. Uh, we're reevaluating our deployment strategies. The city's homicide tally for the month of May sat at 13 deaths before the violent stretch, less than the total of 41 seen by the end of May last year. The department says they're committed to getting ahead of what could be a violent summer, while others say this summer may be spent indoors. The other piece with that is working with the community. You can sit on the porch and just chill with some friends, but that's probably not safe. And, Jamie, at this hour, that 17-year-old remains in the hospital fighting for his life. Police are asking that if you have any information to go ahead and give them a call. We're live outside City Police Headquarters tonight. I'm Dakari Turner, ABC 2 News. Dakari, thank you. you